As kids across the metro head back to school, doctors worry COVID cases will increase. 3 News Now reporter Alyssa Curtis spoke to doctors about how to keep kids in school safe. As school begins, but with many children unvaccinated, doctors worry the Omaha metro area will see a spike in COVID cases within the next three to four weeks. As the numbers start going up, and also as all our kids go back to school and if there's not going to be a mask mandate uh, in a lot of the schools, then we're going to have lots of community spread. Doctors say kids can contract the virus. They add while majority of kids who do get it won't get severely ill, they can have symptoms. There's a lot of things that can happen short of death with long term effects and being ill. They say concerns are heightened due to the more transmissible Delta variant. Last year, best evidence was that you needed a semi-prolonged contact with folk, at least over 10 minutes for a close exposure to have a better chance of being infected. But newer viruses are much more transmissible. So it's possible that if there is one pre-symptomatic child in a classroom over the course of a class period, um, the entire classroom could, ex could end up being exposed. Doctors say because many kids are still unvaccinated, the only way to prevent spread while continuing in-person instruction is to mask up. They add masking children is safe. There have been studies that show um, that kids, uh, who um, anybody, adult or kids wearing masks, your oxygen levels are not decreasing. Um, you're, you're okay and, and that's not of concern. COVID symptoms in kids can look like other illnesses like the flu or RSV. Doctors say if kids begin to show any symptoms, it's best to get them tested to be sure of which illness it is. Reporting in Omaha, Alyssa Curtis, 3 News Now. Doctors say it's best to send kids to school with extra masks in their backpack in case one of them gets wet or dirty. And they suggest you get your kids masks in your child's favorite colors or patterns to encourage them to wear a mask. Also, don't forget to wash those cloth masks.